In today's video, I want to talk about the 24mm f2.8 lens from Sangyo for my Sony a7 II. When I first picked up the Sony a7 II, I talked about wanting to use it as like my everyday camera and bringing it around having something small, lightweight, but yet still pretty powerful. And I still think that this lens, this camera, you know, even though it's six years old, is still very, very powerful. And this 24 millimeter lens has really helped me make that step of making this my everyday camera that I carry around with me. You can see just how small this lens is sticking out on this body. You know, this is as small as it gets, and in some jacket pockets, this whole setup just fits. Uh, it does come with the, this little lens hood that you can screw on and screw off. I just leave it on. Um, I've just left it on like this and I don't even use a lens cap with it. The lens itself costs I think in between $250 and $300 depending if you pick it up used or not. I would say to pick up a new copy just because it, most of the new copies will have the new firmware update which will let the autofocus actually work with the Sony cameras. Again this you can use this on the A7, any E-mount camera. Now 24 millimeters is a focal length I'm not really used to using. I do have this G9, has, I'm using the 12 to 60 millimeter lens, which in full frame terms is a 24 to, to 120 uh, equivalent, equivalent. But 24 millimeters on a full frame camera is really, really wide. It's not like super wide, but it's very wide. You can easily turn this around and get a selfie or a vlog with, with this lens. This camera does have image stabilization so you could vlog with it and be perfectly fine. Because of how small this lens is, most people don't even pay attention to the camera or the lens. You know, they're just thinking it's a point and shoot camera. And what's nice about this, this setup and the combination is it really does feel like the Sony RX line where it's like a small um, point and shoot camera but it has a full frame sensor and interchangeable lenses uh, so you could go really big if you wanted to. Samyang does make a host of other lenses that I'm interested in checking out. Uh, I did try the 35 millimeter lens and it is a really good lens in itself but for me the 24 was just the, the better focal length because I like uh, you know being that this is something I'm going to take with me everywhere I go I wanted to if I'm holding up like a if I'm holding up a cup of coffee or something, I'm able to hold it up just outside, you know, arm length, arm's length away, take a picture, and I can get the full cup of coffee in, in frame. Also, if I'm taking pictures of uh, family members and things, I can really just hold it up here, take some pictures. No one's paying attention. No one's looking at, oh, Kwame and his big camera, much smaller camera, much smaller setup. And if I'm out in public, I don't feel as... Um, self-conscious about using this setup because again it looks like a point and shoot camera so most people don't care that you're taking pictures of your coffee but yeah that's this guy uh, so overall I really really recommend this lens if this is a focal length that you're interested in and you don't have the funds or you just don't want to spend the money on buying like the G Master lenses or the Sigma art lenses and you want something small and compact now obviously I haven't touched on like the image sharpness from edge to edge. At f2, yes, the middle of the image is pretty sharp, but the edges are a little uh, fuzzy. If you get to like f4, f or f5.6 and above, you will have pretty good images. And there are hundreds of other channels and videos that have talked about the science of sharpness and everything with these lenses. That's not me from a everyday, you know, user perspective this lens has been very quality and very um, very well worth it. Thank you as always for watching this video. If you do like this uh, video please hit subscribe to the channel, like button down below, it does help me out. If you are thinking about buying this lens or camera or anything else I've talked about I have affiliate links down below to Amazon. I've, I'm sure you've heard it before. Uh, I get a small commission off of those sales. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps a small channel like me stay ad-free because that's something I really want to do uh, for this channel. 
Also, I have a link down below where you can, if you want, buy me a cup of coffee. A couple dollars will help keep my uh, coffee fun and coffee addiction going. Thank you, as always, for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.